welcome to the 124 GT that you can't buy. And I'm being serious, you can't actually buy this car yet in the UK. What's my next car gonna be? What is going on guys? Welcome to Steph AB and welcome to the 124 GT by a bath. Now, this is the funny part. I should really call this video, welcome to the 124 GT that you can't buy. And I'm being serious, you can't actually buy this car yet in the UK. The 124 GT only comes in three colors. One sec. The 124 GT sounds amazing with the Monza though, but I digress. The 124 GT only comes in three colors. Those colors being gray or Portogallo gray, San Marino black, and I think it's Turin white. I'm in a red car. I'm in a red 124 GT. So what's, so something that clearly doesn't add up here. So I did a lot of questioning. I asked the Bath some information on it because let's be honest, uh, there has been a lot of talk about the 124 GT. I don't think there is enough information at the moment on the 124 GT. What is it? How much do you pay for it? Is the roof pack worth it? It's the same 1.4 litre turbocharged engine you find in the normal 124 Spider. It still produces 168 horsepower, BHP, 170 give and take. It's still running the Garrett Turbo. It still runs the Monza exhaust. It still has the same interior to the old car. The difference between an actual 124 GT and the one I'm driving is the 124 GT, when you buy it from new, you get the roof, you get the carbon mirrors, you get the ultra leggero wheels, you get the carbon front insert on the splitter. You also have the luxury that with the roof, because it's a hard top roof, you get more rigid, rigid, is that even a word? The car's more rigid because it effectively acts almost like a roll bar because it is a solid carbon fiber roof. But this specific car I'm driving, you'll notice, has the roof, has the badge, 124 GT, it has the ultra leggero wheels, but that's it. And the reason for that is, one, that Abarth have been struggling to get the 124 GT into the country at the moment because, just in general, the price is still, there is no price right now. Uh, Abarth are working hard with Italy to firm up a price on how much these things are going to cost. Um, mainly because I'm not sure if it's because of exchange rate or, or something like that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not certain. But what I can tell you is, is that eventually a bath are going to be offering what is on this car because this is just a standard Spider loophole. So if you own an Abarth 124 Spider, you will be able to buy the 124 GT pack, which will consist of the wheels, uh, I believe the badge, and the roof. How much that's going to cost? I still don't know and Abarth still haven't committed to a price yet, but it will be interesting to see. I would expect it to be in the region of around about 10% of what the car's worth. Uh, there are rumours that this car potentially might also be sold for around about 33, 34 grand. Again, do not quote me on that. We still haven't had official release figures from Abarth yet, so any, anyone's guess is as good as mine. So this car and the 124 GT will still have the soft top on the rear of the car. Uh, so the soft top roof that you get on the standard car. Which means that when you take this roof off, which because it's a hard top, you can, you can still have the same functionality on this car, the 124 GT, or an actual 124 GT, 
that you would do on a normal Spider. Hence the reason for it being a pack available to all the Abarth customers. But, and here's my grind. Um, don't get it twisted, I love this car, I love the GT pack. But it's not the easy, well it's not the easiest thing in the world to take off and put back on again, the roof. I would envisage this being a two man job. Uh, firstly because obviously you unclip this as you would normally do the roof, but the, the roof is bolted on. So you've got two bolts on the rear uh, just by the boot and that's, that, that effectively keeps the car solid. Uh, and it gives you, that's where you get the rigidity, the, 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 I can't say that word, that's where you get more rigidness from the car because it's literally bolted on. But that then means in the summer, you might have days where it's cloudy, you might have days where it's nice and sunny, and the luxury, I think the, the, the unique selling point as well of the 124, the 124 Spider is how quickly you can do the roof up and down. With this GT roof, it effectively makes it one of the longest roofs in the world to take off. Now, I'm not slamming the roof because ultimately I think if you wanted to buy this GT with the carbon roof, you're going to do it and you're not going to be fussed whether or not it takes a while to take off. You're also going to do it because you like the look of it. Depending on the price, I don't know how many owners would go for it. Would I? Would I do it? Uh, I think I would. I think I would. And I think, I think the setup, if you like, that I would run would be in the winter months I would run this car with the carbon roof on and then when it got to summer maybe like May I think yeah May in the UK is about right when it got to that time uh, I would take it off the interior of the car is again no different to the uh, the original spider it's the same car but you still have that amazing seating position in the Roadster. I'm six foot one and I just about make it into this car. I think if you're taller than six foot one, you might struggle. But seating here, everything just feels like it's in the right place. The seats are really comfortable. The instrument cluster in front of me is again, very Ferrari-like inspired uh, with the big rev counter in the middle, which I think is really nice. The infotainment system down here, you when you to maneuver it, you kind of have to, your arms like that it's like you've got some sort of claw because it doesn't sit quite right but the other side to that is your hand perfectly sits on the gear stick so changing gears is a pleasure the other thing I love about this car is the way the, the pedals are positioned because what it means is that heel and toe is so easy to do on this I love that and I always find myself when I had the spider last time actively wanting to heel and toe because it just feels like the right thing to do obviously the car comes with the uh, Bill Seen coilover setup um, so the handling hasn't changed it's still as good as it was arguably it's slightly better because of the carbon roof uh, with the rigidness of it the roof itself only weighs 16 kilograms so really for an extra 16 kilograms to get the carbon roof, I think it's definitely worthwhile. I love it. I love that noise. A bath always get that right. They always get sound and character in their cars, spot on. So what, what's my kind of verdict on it? You know, I, I mean, I've always been an advocate of the Spider. I really, I've always loved it. In fact, I tell a lie, I didn't actually love it when it first came out, I'll be honest. Uh, it took me about a few months to come around to love it. But now, after driving it, after seeing it, after seeing what people have done to them from a tuning perspective, um, I really am starting to, to love these cars an awful lot. Now, I guess there's also the other question, I haven't really talked about it too much, is what's my next car gonna be? Uh, hopefully pretty soon I'll be able to announce that, but this isn't my new car, before anybody says. Um, also, you guys will see a video coming up where I took this to Festival Italian Brands Hatch. Um, the reception for this car there was mega. Loads of people loved this, loads of people took photos of it, loads of people asked questions on it. So we're kind of doing the video order a, a bit reversed. And also, whilst we're on that topic, that video, um, for some reason, I just didn't feel great that day and I was kind of off my game big time. Um, I was very tired and uh, I think I just pretty much burnt the candle at both ends. 
Um, I've had a few days rest now, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to leave you guys to, to watch that. I apologise in advance of that video, me not being as chirpy, chipped. What's going on with me as chirpy, as chirpy as normally in my videos? But I'm going to leave you with that thought, guys. So, the Abarth 124 GT. This car I'm in, you cannot buy yet. The Abarth 124 GT itself comes in three colours, black, grey and white, so you can't get a red one. So it's, it's quite exclusive really, this video, which is kind of cool. But Abarth have said that you will be able to get the 124 GT pack soon-ish, I can't give you a date, and that will be for any existing owner who fancies buying the roof and the wheels as a package, you'll be able to do that for your own Spider. Right. My name's been Steph, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really does help the channel because only 20% of all of my video views on the channel, and it's 2.1 million now, have come from my own subscribers. So if you do watch my videos regularly, please smash subscribe. It really does help. And as always, if you've, been, if you've got this far in the video, you guys are legends. And I'm going to see you all very soon on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.